cord. I'm gonna get you a bow. We're gonna get you with two angles here. So see, he's gonna be in two angles. See the guest? You're gonna see a good close up on him, and then there's gonna be one right here. Checkered, uh, Ace Naylor's Checkered Flag. I'm your host, Ace Naylor. we got a great show today. Why am I wearing this shirt? This is RFC for the, le, le, for the uh, East Texas Outlaws. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But first, I want to I, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to everybody that showed up for the uh, Firecracker 50 for our uh, our interviews we did at the racetrack. It was awesome. Uh, we had a great night. We're going we're gonna to recap that a little bit later as well. We're going to show some highlights from, from those videos. Um, but we have we have some great guests on the show right now, and I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna have to edit because what's his name? Cooper we got Cooper. Who do we have? We got Cooper Miller and. Cutter Rollins. All right. Uh, we got Cooper Miller on the show. We also got Cutter Rollins gonna be on a little bit later. We've got uh, we've got Caleb Slater also gonna be on the show. We're gonna have him on. Gonna have him on via Skype. Well, folks, back to what I was talking about. Why am I wearing RFC today? Well, I'm wearing RFC because I want to give a huge shout out to Colby Horn. Colby Horn headed over to Illinois for his uh, to to compete and race up there. So I want to say, Colby, we're rooting for you, man. And that's why I've got this shirt. Hopefully, this is a good luck charm for you here. Uh, so hope you see that. All right, folks. Well, we're going to take a quick a quick break. Yes, because we have to pay our bills here. We've got our, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back with our guest in just a moment. And that's what I'll slice that in and put that in. All right, folks, uh, we're back, and, and we've got, man, see, I'm really messing up today. This is why we've got our, uh, Coop. I'm back, folks, and we've got, in the studio right now, we've got Cooper Miller in the studio right now. He's, he's going to talk to us about outlaw cart racing. Probably one of the youngest I've ever had in the studio. How old are you, buddy? Six. You're six years old. How, let's have you turn your chair over here so you can look at me. There you go. You can, there you go. You can use the table for that, absolutely. You get you look at me there, and you can uh, kind of stay like that. Kind of stay like this right here, okay? Perfect, right there like that. Oops. It's all right. All right, so tell us a little bit how, of, of how, you, how young you were when you started and how did you get started? Uh, I don't know. Four. You were four years old? Wow, you were only four years old? What do you race? What do you race? Junior one. You're, wow, junior one. Uh, so tell us, you, you went to, you went to um, the Firecracker 50. And tell us how you did there. You won the heat, right? You won your heat. How did you do? Good. Yeah. So tell us a little more. Tell us what, what, what's your favorite track that you like to race at? Camp. That, yeah. Is, is that your home track? Is that where you're mostly at all the time? You're mostly at camp? Is that where you're at? You're mostly at camp most of the time? Is that where you go all the time or do you go any other tracks? I, I stay at camp a lot sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And they have the... <clears throat> and how... how your car goes pretty fast, huh? You, you go pretty fast in that junior one. Are you looking to move up? Because there's junior ones, junior twos, junior three. Are you looking to move up into a junior two at some point? Because I, I tell you what, and guys, for you guys who are watching, this kid here is wicked fast. He really is. He's just absolutely, just absolutely amazing um, to watch you and, and, and a lot of the wins that you have under your belt so far. Uh, how many, you know, how many, can you tell us about how many wins you have already? It's at only six. We forgot count them. Six. Has six wins, six wins. Yeah, if I may put her on the spot, mom's in the studio. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, six. He has exactly six wins. Um, and we were going to interview him at the track, but we had some sound things, and that's why we that's why we have him here. Um, you did really well. You won the heat. Uh, you, you weren't able to finish the main, but you know what? You, you raced a really you raced a really good race. Uh, and uh, the next one you're going to be racing is going to be July 9th. Which I'm going to be out there to see. I get to see you for that because I'll be, I'll be announcing out there. That's going to be for the. Uh, that's going to be for the Redneck Nationals. Are you looking forward to that? Uh -huh. Pretty excited, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, Miller. I like your shirt there, the 5C. Hey, Cooper Miller. Is that now? now 
what kind of uh, tell us a little if you can tell us a little bit about your car. Do you know what the five C means? Because uh, I'm five, I lose five, but I turn six and I start in a C. Wow, man! And you can talk too. So that's good. You got two things. You can talk and you can you can talk and you can race. Cooper Miller is only five years old. Six. Uh, six. Oh, six. So you you just had a birthday mm -hmm. recently. Oh well, happy birthday then. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna ask you if you want to tell if you want to give it. You know, do you have any sponsors you want to thank right now? No, not right now. Uh, you don't have any sponsors yet, huh? Well, we're gonna have to figure out how to get you some sponsors because I tell you, for those of you watching, the kid is really, really just just amazing fast. Um, he knows how to pass on the inside or outside. He has absolutely absolutely no fear on the racetrack at all. And and. Uh, and uh, I mean that's amazing. And the reason why I wanted somebody so young on the show is because I wanted I wanted folks to see how young these kids are that are that are just that are, that are starting in racing, starting at, uh, from all the way from four years old on up. Thank, thank, thank you so much, buddy. Anything else you would like to talk to me about before we let you go and get on to our next guest? Uh, I don't know. No. All right. Well, we got to take we got to take a, a, another break, and we're going to be back with our next guest. In just a few moments, and then of course after that we're going to be talking about highlights from the Firecracker King 50. So we'll be back in just a moment, guys. Don't go anywhere. All right. Good job, buddy. All right. You want to you want to get this guy on, and we'll get you we'll get you hooked. And I'm going to leave my. I had. We get you a. Can you unhook him? I had my memory card. I have every one of his races. You know, you asked for that the other night. And his name is Cutler Rollins. Cutler. Yes. I know that. I say Cutter. And then I yeah, that's okay because there's a Cutter Guerrero too. Because yeah. I Cutter Guerrero. I know. That's why I got confused. We get y'all confused. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, amazing for six. I, I, I just cannot believe how quick he is in that car. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like. Thanks, Winston. When he gets out, it's like, wait a minute. Has he really? Did I really just watch a six-year-old get out? Yeah. Such a sweet boy too. Mama, I see him. You do. Oh yeah, we want to, we want to see that. We want to see that shirt, man. That's a cool shirt. All right, folks, we're back, and we've got on. We've got right now. We've got Cutler, Cutler Rollins. Not I want to don't want to mess that up again. I'm sorry for saying Cutter on on Saturday night, but it's actually Cutler Rollins. Um, Cutler, how old are you? Uh, nine years old. Oh wow, you're nine years old, and what kind of car do you race? A QRC. Races no no QRC oh, what kind of what what QRC that's a chassis what type of it is it Junior two Junior three, junior three. right um, well first off um, since we're gonna since we're gonna be recapping um, a little bit later we're gonna be showing some highlights from the Firecracker King fifty how did you do with the Firecracker King for those who didn't who didn't who don't know and didn't watch I got third in my first heat first in my second and third in the feature. Yes, I, and we're going to show that. I've got, we, we've got, uh, I believe we have your interview on, on, on the video somewhere. Yeah, we do. We have the interviews, uh, on track interviews. We're going to show a little later. Uh, uh, I think that was, it was just an awesome night that night. Um, the weather was great. Uh, we had a, a big pack of cars that showed up, huh? Man, that was just an amazing pack of cars. Um, and before we get into your career, uh, next, not this weekend, you have off, right? So the 4th of July weekend. Wow, so what do you do when you're off time? What do you, what do you kids do when you're off time? I know it seems like you have a lot going on when you're, when you're working on your car and busier in the week, uh, what do you do for your off time? Uh, well, usually just uh, hang around my house, uh, play games, work on my new car. Oh, there you go. It's always, you know, it, it, it's all. It, 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 there's never a moment. Is there ever a moment when you're not working on your car? You're pretty much busy with it all the time. From the time you, from the time you pretty much finish the, the, the race and you go into the race the following weekend, you're constantly working on it. Um, and uh, Gosh, man, nine years old again. Another amazing young, uh, so many amazing youngsters and youngsters are out on the show. Um, coming in third, and so two weeks from now, before we're getting your career. Two weeks from now, you um, race. Well, I'm going to be out there too, which is cool. I'm, uh, you're going to race the. Uh, you're going to race the. Um, gosh, and I just forgot it here. This is why I'm more taping. Um, you're going to race the. Uh, what is it? The, the ninth, the one on the ninth. The Redneck Nationals. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. You're going to race the Redneck Nationals coming up. Uh, how do you feel going into the Redneck Nationals? I feel like I want to win. Yeah, yeah. I, you, you definitely have that potential. Uh, so tell us about your. Let's start back from your career. Uh, uh, how did you get? How did you? How did all? How did all this begin for you? Well, uh, my cousin Cooper Miller, when, uh, he 
you started racing, that made me want to start racing. Mm. You got kind of started late. You saw Cooper, you watched uh, Cooper Miller race, and you know, perhaps you went, you're like, wow, I, I, you know, I want to get into that. I want to get into that, too. Um, um, so what, so, so what do you, what, what, you, you run a QRC, QRC chassis, we got RFC, but that's because I, yeah, I'll talk about that again later. Um, joke, uh, because I, uh, because uh, RFC, they're good too. Um, so tell us a little bit, uh, a little bit more about your, about your racing, racing experiences, your car, and a little bit about, you know, um, uh, what, the different tracks and stuff that you've been to. Are you, do you go to, uh, um, do you ever go, uh, do you ever adventure outside of uh, Cam? I know a lot of people would go just to Cam, and some actually would love to like to go to other tracks. You like to go to other tracks and get good experience. Yeah, I usually race at Wichita and Cam mostly. Yeah, mostly Wichita and Cam. Yeah, I've seen you out in Cam a few times. Uh, uh, what do you, what, what do you think about that track? Is it a little bigger? Is it? I noticed a little bigger. Is it a little bigger? Uh, a little faster? Is it a little more? Um, is it a little more demanding? Uh, is it a little more demanding in the turns and as far as as far as stepping on the gas than, than the shorter track? Uh, it's a good track. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I like it too. I like that how they do the you know they have the ruts in there and they a little you know they make it you know to where to where it's good traction. Where are you looking to go from here? Are you looking to get into big sprints? I know most I've seen a lot of you kids grow to. Bigger sprints, and are you guys looking to go to big sprints? What's your ultimate goal? Why would you want to get out of racing? Um, I think I, my ultimate goal is to get to uh, late model or something. Oh wow, late model paved or dirt? Uh, dirt. Oh wow, that not see none of that. That's very really unique because a lot of kids I've talked to want to go to late model NASCAR, but late model dirt is pretty exciting. What 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 excites you the most about dirt late models? Uh. Just the way they handle. I, you know, what I like about them is I like the way they drift. I've called a few of those, and I love the way that they handle, the, the way that they, the way that they drift into the turns, and they're just really, really exciting and watching. Really, probably, really, really accelerating the race. Um, uh, so I want to thank you so much. Well, before we do that, I really need to know because we like this is what we do here. I'd like for you to anyone you want to thank shop sponsors and shout outs uh, before we let you go, and I get on to our recap. Oh wow, you got some t-shirts, a lot of t-shirts, I see you got one there too, huh? Sweet. Well, I want to thank you for being on the show, and I want to thank Cooper for being on the show. Folks, we're going to well, we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the Texas uh, the Texas Outlaws RFC and what uh, and what Colby Horn is doing. We're going to talk about that when, uh, when I get back. Then we're going to show some highlights from the from the Firecracker 50. Yes, we got more. Uh, we did show some, we did have some interviews, but... I want to show some of those again because those interviews were really good. You were in one of them. Um, I also wanted to want to talk about the the, the recap um, as well. Uh, we're off. Uh, we are. We were off this past weekend, so I want to talk a little bit about that. All right, folks. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. All right, that's it. And it's a taping, so that's why I say. That's why I say because it's going to show on Tuesday. Okay. So that's why. Huh? Tuesday. It'll show Tuesday night. What? It'll show on RoadMaps.com. There's a website. You can actually watch it right on their Facebook to make it easier, but on their, it goes on their Facebook too. RealFast.tv. www.realfast.tv. And it's here too. We have we show it on Vimeo on our Vimeo. Uh, Take a picture of that. Awesome. Yeah. Good job, buddy. So, she puts that on Facebook. That's right. Huh? That's on Facebook. Like, what do you tag this in or that? And he puts it on Facebook and his website. Yeah. But me. I put it on my website too. Yeah. I show it on my. I show the episodes on my site. You know, go stand by Ace and tell you know the about checkered flag. You know the checkered flag show dot com. Yes. Yeah, it's on my site too. Hey, maybe you guys can stand. Stand maybe stand right behind, right beside him. Yeah. Okay, go over that way. Because we don't want. Oh, we, yeah. we, we we want that. We want that to get in the picture. There. Get behind Cooper, because you're talking. Totally yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, there we go. All right, everybody looking. Right? Oh, like, yes, I said the number one. We always do that. You go first. It's our Maybe thing. number one. Heather. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, awesome. One gotcha. more. Okay. Wait, Kettler. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'll give you, I'll bring you a shirt of Cooper's next Oh, sweet. Okay. I know, I was thinking about that too. What size do you wear? 
Huh? I, I, I wear an extra large. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fat. I'm a fat. Uh, I'm a fat Italian. Yeah. I'm a fat Italian. I used, I, well, I, I did lose weight, but then I came here and I gained, I gained a thirteen. Everything's bigger here. I'm going to the doctor today and I gained thirteen pounds when I went two weeks ago. I'm dread to think what it's because oh, it's all that Whataburger. It's I love Whataburger. Yeah, too much Whataburger. In the middle of the night. Too. Yeah.